Alright guys, so I want to show you how to use the new uh, Viper GMB GeoGrids here. Uh, we're at the very beginning stages of releasing this. We have a lot, a lot of updates coming out. Campaigns and schedulers, advanced schedulers, advanced statistics. Uh, we, Like I said, we have a lot of options coming. So just wanted to show you what we have right now. It is fully operational. This is working at the moment. It's a little bit slow right now because we're not using Google API. I know there's a lot of uh, issues out there using Google API. That's why I wanted to design my tool outside of that, uh, you know, outside that API. I don't like to have Google know exactly what I'm up to. I always try to mimic human behavior. So it's going to be a little bit slow until we add in more facilities, more things that we're doing to pull the stats and, uh, you know, accuracy and that whole nine yards. So just bear with us at the very beginning. Like I said, we are getting this installed on a lot more servers and, Things like that that will speed it up. But this is what it looks like at the moment. Like I said, we're at the bare bones uh, report here, but we are expanding fast. I've got a ton of options coming out. Every day there's a new update, and uh, this is exciting. So everything is online. It's all in the cloud. You don't have to download any tools. You don't have to install anything. You don't have to hook anything up to your website or anything like that. It's all within the Viper server here. So let's go ahead and search for a GMB. First things first, very simple at the very moment, at this moment I should say. Uh, it's very, very simple. We don't have, like, a, like I said, a lot of uh, different stuff here and it's very easy to use. So let's go over to Google and let's go find a local uh, company, a local website, a local market in the GMBs. This is not associated with me. This is not one of my clients. Uh, so this is going to be a total random pull here, and I'm going to see what I can find. So uh, let's find, since we're coming up end of July here, we're going to start going back into the HVAC uh, season of heating uh, coming up for winter and fall and all that fun stuff. So let's go after a big keyword term like uh, heating, let's say heating repair. And you can see what I was typing in before, Manassas, Warrington. Let's instead do McLean VA. That's a big, big area. So we'll do McLean VA. Okay, so we have heating repair McLean VA. And let's go ahead and look up. Let's go to view all. Now the number one here is McLean pulled right up here at the top. I'm going to go down and see if I can find someone else like... Let's say Nelson's. It looks interesting right there. Whoops, I accidentally clicked on his website. I did not want to do that. I wanted to actually click on his uh, GMB here. Okay. There we are. So let's go ahead and grab his info here. So I'm going to go over and put this in for his address. Just going to put the street in right there. Uh, we're going to type in Falls Church. Okay, let's say the United States, uh, Virginia. And uh, keywords is going to be heating repair. Okay, we want to copy it directly as it is here for the title, for the business title. And we're going to put that in exactly ha uh, as he has it set up. Grid size, and we'll do a 3x3. Three three. Distance, and we'll say 1 kilometer, which should be miles. Uh, we're going to look here at our map. And right now, this is what's showing. So I'm going to hit search for location. Okay, boom. Right here, Falls Church. Right smack dab, right where that road is. Okay, so search for location. And now I'm going to click on create new grid. You can see right here it says GMB grid created and scheduled for processing. Okay, now this is important when you're using this. Let's go over and click on history. Now if we look at history, we can see other things that we've created in the past. But I'm not seeing the one I just created. At the moment, the way to get this to pull it up, unfortunately, is to refresh the window. So you do Control F5 and it'll refresh. And now you see it popped up here. It has a P in the top left hand corner and this means pending. So it's pending for a search here. Okay, so this is going to be a small search, a three by three, one distance. Uh, it should pull it relatively fast and then it'll put it in here. So I'm just going to pause here. It's 2.41 p.m. 
and uh, we'll check it in just a second. Okay, so when we looked this up, if you remember, I said McLean, Virginia, but uh, when I searched it up in the Google Maps, the actual address was for Falls Church. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. It's been about uh, one and a half minutes, uh, about a minute and 30 seconds to pull this. Let's click on it, and we can see all of his information here, and he is not doing very good on ranking. Look at that, 20s. Mama Mia Nelson needs to do much better. So Nelson's not doing very good for Falls Church, even though we had originally looked for McLean, but we put in Falls Church uh, information here. Uh, so Nelson is not doing good, but that's what it looks like here. It pulls it up nicely, puts it right on the map. You can click on static grid. You can see the static grid. If we go over and look at history, we can see what we were looking at yesterday. I did a 5x5 here for a Los Angeles DUI uh, lawyer. And uh, let me just show you what this looks like. So if we go back to, let's say right there, this was July 20th. Now, if I go back to my history here, to July 7th, I did one for this exact same search for the law offices of Nicholas Lone Car. And look at that, sevens, fives, sevens, and sixes. So this guy's, uh, you know, over the last two weeks, I have not been boosting him, by the way. But uh, he's been getting good uh, ranking. His ranking's gone up, which is a great, great thing. We all love that, right? We love to see rankings go up. So uh, his ranking went up in all those areas, and I'm sure uh, he was happy. He probably didn't even know it, although I bet he's paying huge money for that, uh, for DUI attorney in Los Angeles. So this is awesome. The grids are working good. They're pulling up accurate information. Uh, we did add in credit history. Of course, no credits are being taken right now, but uh, we will have that in the future. We have, like I said, new options coming out all the time. It pulls relatively quickly. Uh, some of the things take a little bit longer, like uh, this right here, this grid. This was a massive grid. I did five miles, I'm sorry, 25 miles with a 13 by 13 grid. Holy shnikes, look at that. That is crazy. Now, of course, who's going to be doing that in the ocean? Obviously, I've got some changes to do here. I want to try to avoid the ocean in the future. So we'll be looking at that for an update. But check that action out. Uh, that guy's got some great, great rankings that far out um, in all those different areas for his keywords. So uh, that's good. That's working good. Um, the accuracy is coming back from what I hear from my guys, coming back very, very good. So this is how you use it. Just make sure that when you're doing your searches, you do the control F5 if you have a PC. And if you're using a Mac, you do the command R. So command R to do your refresh of your window. And uh, for the moment, that's how we'll have to refresh it. But in the future, it'll work very nicely. So I just wanted to show you this, show you what's going on with the GeoGrids. Uh, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be really, really awesome when you get all these options in. Like, for example, one of the options I'm going to be putting in is allow you to set up a schedule. So you can say, okay, you want to have it check every day for the next, like, say, 30 days. And it will rescan that map for you, pop it in every day, and show you how your customer's ranking is changing. You could go back in history and say, okay, on the 7th, this is where my customer was. And it'll show you a page with all your different maps. You can click on them, open them big. You can see them. You could export them straight to your customer. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be super, super cool. So that's going to be one part of this tool in here. Okay, so one part of this tool is going to be this GeoGrid. But we're also going to be adding in, uh, I'm also going to be putting in the Rank Tracker tool in here as well. So I'm going to combine two tools. And there's going to be an ability to track rankings for websites, videos, GMBs, straight through the actual rank tracker. And then you'll have the GeoGrid in here as well. So this tool is going to be expanding a lot over the next couple of uh, months. Next month, I should say. I'm hoping to have everything done in a month. And uh, where you could act, put in all your websites and all your URLs and all your pages and track individual rankings, local rankings based upon latitude, longitude. That's something else I'm planning on putting in here is allowing you to search for your maps, for your geo maps, geo grid maps via a latitude, longitude. So you could pull up specific rankings, not necessarily on your GMB URL or your GMB address, just a ton of really awesome, awesome options. So just wanted to show you how to use the GeoGrid 
if you're using it, if you're trying to figure out how to use it, if you're wanting to figure out what's going on, sorry about that. That's uh, that's how you click it. That's how you get it to go. And uh, yeah, it's super awesome. I love that little animation dropping in like that. So uh, this is the GMB GeoGrids. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Cheers.